Hi, I'm Kirsten Olt, Assistant Professor of Art History at the University of Tulsa. Um, and I'm here today to talk about a painting by the artist Richard LeBar Goodwin. Uh, it's called The Cobbler, and it was painted in 1893, which was an unusual time for a genre scene, uh, and particularly a genre scene with an African-American subject, uh, and one that was done by a white Euro-American artist. There are several details in the painting that give us some clues as to why uh, Richard LeBar Goodwin may have chosen this subject. The first is that we see the cobbler seated. Uh, he's holding a hammer, and we can uh, we can see the the artist's kind of skill in illusionism, in depicting objects with great kind of detail uh, and naturalism in the glinting hammer. Uh, the glinting light on the hammer, the worn leather straps that are uh, tacked with a nail to the masonry wall. He's gazing on a passage from the Bible, and the book is rendered and the text is rendered so clearly and in such detail that we can actually make out the chapter and book from the Bible. Um, and that's from Revelations, and it's the section on um, the seven scrolls, which is a passage about Christ. Christ's redemption, right? His redemptive power and his sacrifice. Uh, that element taken in context with the portrait of Abraham Lincoln that's shown on the wall, uh, a photograph widely circulated and known as his Gettysburg portrait, uh, works together to suggest that the scene may be uh, the artist looking back on his own time uh, in the war where he was wounded um, and thinking about this message of equality, uh, that this was still a message that kind of needed to be worked on uh, in, in kind of in the coming years, um, that the quest for equality might not yet have been achieved. Uh, up in the cobbler's shop, we see a row of shoe lasts. Those were used for molding the shoe leather. Uh, and on top of it, again, kind of rendered with incredible naturalism and, and descriptive detail, this foreshortened newspaper that reads the national view. This newspaper was an organ of the Greenback Party, uh, which was a party that had originally organized around the Greenback currency, but then by the 1890s had kind of turned towards a, a populism and was advocating for uh, agricultural laborers and uh, urban laborers to unite under a common message. And so the newspaper within this context paired up against the straw hat, maybe suggesting an agricultural worker, um, along with kind of the craftsman who likely would have been in a more urban location, uh, suggests this populist message. The artist Richard LeBar Goodwin might have chosen to paint such a progressive scene uh, because of his family values. His father was a noted uh, miniature portrait painter, Edwin Wyburn Goodwin, uh, and he, the elder Goodwin, was involved in an anti-slavery newspaper in Albany. Uh, the Goodwin family home also served as a stop on the Underground Railroad. So woven through the details of this craftsman shop are the various narratives of the changing political circumstances in late 19th century America. Memories of the great civil strife and internal battles, its struggles to heal and reconstruct the nation, its racial divisions, and its continuing process of securing equality for all its people. And now that Gilcrease is fortunate to have this work as part of its collection, it helps to contribute to telling our collective story.